So you just saw the usage dashboard that showed you how much money you would you had spent uh, over some range of time. And so now I want to talk about how OpenAI actually charges you for the API usage. And so how they charge you is based off tokens used. So tokens are a little bit different than words. And so they don't charge you on the number of words that you use. For example, if you asked it to translate this sentence right here, I am taking my dog on a walk to Spanish, French, Italian, whichever language you would like, they're, they're going to charge you based on how much, how many tokens were used in the input prompt, which would be the sentence here, I am taking my dog on a walk. And they'll also charge you on how many tokens were used to generate the output, which would be the translated sentence of I am taking my dog on a walk. And so what are tokens? Tokens, OpenAI says tokens, you can think of them as subwords. Um, and that's true, you really can. Um, and so OpenAI bills you per 1,000 tokens used and the billing per 1,000 tokens used changes based on the model that you use. So if you use a more advanced model like GPT-4, it's gonna cost more per 1,000 tokens than a, you know, a cheaper model per 1,000 tokens. And so, um, they said on their site that a thousand tokens is roughly 750 words, you know, because we're subwords now, right? Tokens are subwords, and so it's more uh, subwords than words. And so, uh, to get an idea of what a token is and how OpenAI may actually tokenize a sentence, this isn't exactly how they would do it, but this is an example of what tokenization means. Is that let's just say you wanted to translate this sentence to Spanish, I am taking my dog on a walk. And so you input it into a GPT model. And so how the, the tokens are actually going to be created is that this, this sentence will be broken up into I am take. So taking was uh, changed into two words because you can imagine that if I'm a model that's generating the next word in the or next token in a sentence, take can be uh, the prefix for a lot of words. And so it may be useful for me to actually just learn to uh, use this as a single token. Ing right here, there's a lot of gerunds, and so like you can use this for a lot of words. And so it may be wise for the model to separate these because they can be matched up with several different words. Uh, my dog, maybe one token, uh, tokens on their own, like my is one token, dog is one token, on is a token, a is a token, and then a walk. Because wa is used as a prefix in a lot of words, and lk is used in a, as a suffix in a, in a lot of words, the ending uh, letters in a lot of words. And so it kind of broke the sentence up into, it had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight words. Now it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten tokens. So there's more tokens than words here. And so that's an example of what tokenization is. Now they wouldn't keep them as letters. Obviously they'd be translated into, they would be converted into numbers so that the, the model itself can actually generate outputs. But that's a high level overview of how tokenization works on a particular example. If you want more information, you can visit openai.com slash pricing and they'll give you the uh, cost per 1000 tokens across several different models right there on their webpage.